stampers welcome to another week of watch it weekly wednesday i'm aubrey part of the stamp and jill creative team today i'm excited to share with you a new bundle that's in the annual catalog it is the little monkey bundle i'm sure if you've looked through the catalog you've seen this one it's really really cute and it super stands out it has these cute little monkeys and then some cute sayings i'm bananas about you just swinging by to say hi little monkey and then it has this cute punch that coordinates with it. Love, love, love this one. This is not a set that I would typically go to, but I thought that monkey was so cute, and who doesn't love a little monkey card, especially if you have a little monkey in your life. So I wanted to show you a few cute ideas using this set. I'm gonna stamp one with you, and then we will. I'll show you a few other card ideas. So I'm going to first, um, let's color our monkey. So I'm going to use this cute monkey that's kind of swinging, if you can see. And I'm gonna stamp him in memento black, just down on some basic white paper. Now, I wanted to just give you a quick reminder. I love the neutral, blends that we carry. They are not in our annual catalog, so you can't find them in any, in any catalog, but they currently are on our online exclusives if you go to stampinup.com. So these ones I thought were really great for coloring our monkey because there's all sorts of different browns and skin tone colors, so it's kind of perfect for our monkeys. So on this project, I'm using SU200, SU300 and SU900. Those are the three natural blends that I'll be using for my little monkey. So when I blend, I like to generally start with my darkest color and then move to the light. So everybody does it differently, but I'll just kind of show you what I do. I'm gonna start in these smaller little areas here. So my monkey's little legs and tail and I'm just gonna fully color those because they're such small areas, it is kind of hard to get more than one blended color in there. So I'll show you what I do end up doing, but in these smaller areas, I, I, like, to, I like to use the smaller end of my marker, and that's a question I get often is, when do you use the thicker end and when do you use the thinner end of your Stampin' Blends? And this is a great um, example of that. When I am in like a very small or tight space, I will use the thinner end of my marker just because it doesn't typically run quite as much as the thick end. But then like for his little body, I'll move over to my brush tip and I'll just to fill in like that. So that's as far as I'm going to go with my dark, my darkest color of blend. Then I'm going to come in with my, um, this is SU300, so this is my second, kind of my middle color, and I'm just going to go over everything that I colored, blend it together, but then color in the rest of that area too. Just like that. And I'm then gonna go to my smaller side again, and I'm just gonna go right over on top, even of the tail and the legs that I colored, just because it just gives it all that blended look once you go over it. Just like that. And then I'm gonna just come and finish off coloring the rest of his cute little head here. And do a little blending in here with where those two colors come together. Just like that. Okay, so cute. And then I'm gonna come in with this lighter skin tone. It's SU900. And a lot of times monkeys have a cute little lighter face. 
So I'll just fill that in. And one thing that's really cool about Stampin' Blends is that you don't even need another color or another tone in order to blend. You can continue to add color with the same marker. So I'm just gonna come in and add another layer in here just on this side. And you can see that this side will be darker than that side. And it looks like you're getting that blended look even though I just used one marker on that little face. So there we go. There's our little monkey all ready to go. So our punch, you can see, the punch actually matches this monkey that's in the stamp set. So I'm not going to be using the punch on this monkey. I'm gonna cut him out just with some of my snips, which I have previously done, so we can skip that part. And he's gonna come out looking just like that. Okay, and we'll set him aside for a minute. Now I wanna work on the background of my project here. I love this little branch that is in the set, and I'm going to use Pebbled Path and stamp this branch, but I'm gonna stamp it off once. I loved the tone of this, but it was just a little darker than I wanted, so I'm just gonna stamp it off and then stamp it down on my project. And I'm just gonna do, kind of make a little forest here down my card. Just like that, okay. And then I'm gonna leave my um, branches the with the white, but I'm gonna just add some color into the leaves here. So I'm gonna do, like I said, I usually start with my dark and then go to my light. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of dark on each of these leaves. This is Lemon Lime Twist. So dark lemon lime twist. And I'm not, I'm not taking too much time to be too careful with this coloring job. I just, I just want it in there to add a pop of color in the background of my card. And then I'm gonna come in with my lighter lemon lime twist and just kinda add in the rest of my color to my leaves. So just kind of a quick little job, nothing too fancy, but it just gives us just a perfect amount of color right in the back. Okay, next I wanna stamp my saying. So I have already cut my little basic white piece here and we're going to, in Memento Black, we're going to stamp just swinging by to say hi. And I'll stamp that just right in the center toward the bottom of that piece, just like that. Okay, and then we will start putting this together. So I'm gonna use some Stampin' Sill and adhere that onto a little piece of pool party for my saying. Okay, so then we're going to adhere a little piece. This is just a little scrap of um, the Zoo Crew paper. I think this paper is really cute. It has all the little animals here you can see on one side, but on the back side it just has these really fun black and white designs and I think that looks super duper cute with this monkey set. So I'm just gonna adhere this right on the edge of my card on this left hand side, just like that. Okay, now we're going to have our monkey holding this and swinging by to say hi. But I want our monkey to actually be swinging. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my take your pick tool and I'm gonna just pierce a little hole right through my monkey's tail and this top branch, just like that. And then using our round and square brads, you can choose whichever one you want. There's bigger squares and black and white and there's littler circles and these are great. I'm just gonna use a little black brad and I'm gonna stick that right through his tail and that branch. And now 
we have a monkey that's swinging by to say hi. And then we'll just add some glue dots to his little hands here. And I'm just rolling those glue dots so that they fit on his little hands. And then I'm gonna just have him holding my little sign. Just swinging by to say hi. Just like that. So cute. And then we'll just finish off our card here using Stampin' Seal. I will adhere that onto my card base and then we'll tie a little knot. Stick that on too. Just like that. So, so fun, so cute. Okay, I wanna show you one more feature in this stamp set. You can see on this stamp, our monkey has his eyes closed. I think that's really cute. But you can see in each of the monkeys, they have different looks. And there's even this little stamp that has its own little monkey face, okay? If you notice in the punch, there's also this little piece that is the shape of the monkey's face. So if you like a different face for your monkey, you can always grab a piece of white. We'll just use this bottom piece here and stamp down that face. Just like this. Okay. And then if you stick that in your punch and punch it out, just like that, my poor other monkey. You can color that, which I've done. And then you can add another little face onto any of your projects. So I'm just going to pop this up with a dimensional. And instead of having a little sleepy face, this monkey now has a little smile for us. So you can have any of those faces on your monkey and I think that's so cute and such a fun idea. So let me show you a few other cards I made using this set. Here we have kind of a little baby card. I just stamped some of those hearts in the background and did a little monkey. And again, I used that Zoo Crew paper. I just love that so much, so cute. And then also, Here's using the punch here. I'm bananas about you. So, so cute. I have had so much fun playing with this little monkey bundle and I think you will too. There's super fun ideas to do. So if you have the brads, if you get the neutral blends, make sure to check those out on Stampin' Up's online exclusive website. And the Little Monkey Bundle, you can make some really fun cards. If you have any questions, make sure to put them in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday. Bye.